and that something else will be to check the email address again. So let's click in here. Okay, so it tells us go and enter a valid email address. I'm going to enter a valid email address and come away. Then I'm going to click back in and you can see that we don't have the same message. Instead, what we want to do is something else and that is to check the email as well. So we're going to leave this for now. Uh, I'm just going to change this text here to say um, check email address valid because what we want to do is if the user has entered something into here and then they click back into it we want to revalidate it it doesn't matter whether they've entered a, uh, a valid or for example an invalid email address we want to revalidate it so we can tell the user again if the email address is invalid or if it's valid so now we need to create um, the actual function that will do that we'll, we'll outline it at the top of our page and this is going to be, uh, let's just call this uh, validate email. And in that, we take an email address. So here's our function validate email. Now it's going to call it here. Um, it's going to call this function just here. So this, this bit later on, when we've actually filled in the block in here, will equal or will call the validate email function. Also, when we have a key up event, we also want to call the validate email function as well. So we've appended like we have with blur the key up function or the key up event handler onto the end of here. And inside we want to go ahead and create a function. So in here, what's going to happen is we're going to first of all retrieve the value of um, the, in fact, we don't have to re we don't have to store this in a variable to waste memory. We can go ahead and call the validate email function directly. And here we want to supply an email address. And the email address that we want to supply is the email address field. So email dot val. So I've used a selector and the val function in jQuery to grab the value of this email address field. So we also want to do this here. So we can just copy and paste that there. So we've used this function outside of here because otherwise we would have to duplicate the code here and here to validate the email address. Now this function is going to deal with the Ajax request and is going to take this email address here. It's going to feed it to a PHP page, which we're going to create in just a moment. And it's going to, uh, you know, PHP is going to handle the validation. It's then going to return the result of this and then with valid email we can return the result and then we can put that into a um, or we don't have to return the result from this function we can go ahead and just put this straight into our field uh, it's probably better practice though to return the value so perhaps we'll do that instead okay so now we need to think about what um, what we're going to write inside of our function well we're going to use the um, post Ajax request so I've just outlined this uh, here. It's a dollar sign, a full stop, post, and then brackets. Inside brackets, we're going to give this three parameters. The first one, um, obviously, these are comma separated. The first one is going to be the file we're looking for, uh, or we're submitting our data to. The second, in curly brackets, remember this is extremely important, is going to be our data. And the third is a callback function, which is going to hold the result returned by this page. So that is function data, and we can go ahead and bring that down. Okay, so the file that we're submitting this particular data to that will eventually appear inside of our brackets is php forward slash email dot php, and we need to send some values. So we are sending a variable called email, uh, and this is going to be the uh, value we pick up inside php. And the email here is the one that we want to put in here to be submitted. So I've used the same variable name here and here, but not to be confused. This is the name of the variable that we're sending, and this is the value retrieved from our function. So now that we've done that, it's going to submit this variable here with this value to php forward slash email dot php. So the first thing to do is go ahead and create that file. And we're just going to outline PHP tags. And I'm going to save this inside our PHP folder as email.php. 
Now that I have that, we can actually run some tests before we start to validate. So we can run tests to see if our um, our Ajax or our um, jQuery is working. So I'm simply going to say email feedback dot text data. Now remember, this data here is what's is what's returned from this file here. So we've we've created a callback function with data as the handler or the the variable that handles what's returned from this file here, and then we're just putting that inside of our email feedback uh, span. So now what should happen is we are using the validate email function or calling this with the email that we've picked up. We are then using uh, well we're calling this validate email function supplying an email for example alex at phpacademy.org this is then sent to email.php with the variable name email and this value here would correspond to alex at phpacademy.org data then contains whatever email throws back at us for example if we echo something out in here if we were to echo hello hello would then be inside of data this data variable here 